we are, of course, here. Right by the you are here sign visible from space. <coughs> and one of the things to notice is that we have this line of underwater volcanoes that goes up this way. Now, when they first started discovering this in the 1960s, they were amazed. What is that doing there? Why is it a line? Why, is it, why does it have the bend in it? Now, all sorts of questions came up. Well, it turns out that this was one of the biggest pieces of evidence about plate tectonics. That means that the surface of the world, okay, the crust of the world, is composed of all these different pieces and they keep moving around like this big dynamic jigsaw puzzle. Pacific plate, which is all of this, is moving up in this direction. We're not sure why the bend is there. There are two theories about it. One is that uh, the source of the volcanoes moved, and the other is that the direction of the plate changed. We're still not sure about that. But what is the source? I have a different picture for that. Yeah. Is that movement affecting California too? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that, that Pacific Ring of Fire. Here. Yes. Yeah, Pacific Ring of Fire. coming up here. Okay, San Andreas Fault runs like that. And that's called the Strike Slip Fault. And mm -hmm. so the, the hurry so out of the wind of yeah. uh, California, okay, is sort of moving up in this direction mm -hmm. along with the Pacific <laughs> Plate being dragged along. So this would be a plate? That and so this whole plate. thing is a plate. The wow. Pacific Plate is the largest plate. Uh, but it's by no means the only plate. There's a lot of them. And the, the North American plate actually comes up to here. And then it's the Eurasian plate going off in that direction. There's a lot of smaller Where's Japan? plates Where's down Japan? around. So there's Japan right oh, there. Oh, okay. That, okay. Okay. Now, one of the things that happens around here is the plate moves up. It strikes one of the continental plates and dives underneath. So the movement is there, right? There was yeah, the so movement. So the movement pushes the plate underneath. Yeah. That causes the plate to start melting. Okay. And that causes this whole line of islands and volcanoes the formation. to form. Yeah, yeah. So there are volcanoes formed by the subduction of mm -hmm. one plate underneath another. Subduction. And so all of the Aleutians are volcanic. Kamchatka is volcanic. Uh, Japan is very volcanic. Philippines, the, we have 200 volcanoes in our country. In the Philippines, I come from the Philippines. Yeah, in the Philippines. Yeah. The Philippines is a different plate. And we just had an earthquake last week. Yeah. Oh. So Mount Pinatubo, for example, right. one of, one the of our largest, largest explosions, explosions is from that whole collision of plates. And we thought it was dormant for like a thousand years. Yeah, no well, recorded eruption before it erupted. It just means it was taking a long nap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we are here, and we're not anywhere close to a plate boundary. So what's forming these volcanoes? Yeah. It's what's called a hot spot. Mm -hmm. The hot spot is an unusually hot area inside the mantle. So it's about 60 miles down or 100 Cross miles the mantle down. and core, right? That's the middle yeah. part. So crust, mantle, core. And it's in the mantle. It's not too far down in the mantle. It's about, as I said, about 60 miles, 100 kilometers. And it, it, it's hot enough to put up plumes of hot rock. Mm -hmm. Now, it's, it's sort of semi-liquid, semi-solid, part liquid, part solid as it comes up. But then it turns into more and more liquid as it comes up to the surface. And the pressure releases. Mm -hmm. Also, as the pressure releases, more gas comes out. That makes it go even faster to the surface. And when it comes up to the surface, the gas can make it shoot. The vents, that's where the vents are coming from. Yeah. So the volcanoes are formed by these plumes of hot rock coming up. Oh, okay. And and each, each separate volcano is supplied by a different plume of hot rock. All right. So let's turn our attention to briefly to the Hawaiian Islands. All of these islands are volcanic. They're all produced by the hot spot, and the whole plate is moving this way. That means that this is the youngest island. This is the oldest island. 
Oh. So the hot spot just stays put in the mantle. The plate moves across. And so it comes up here. Kauai is about five to six million years old. Oahu, three to four million years old. Uh, Maui, Molokai, this clump of islands, uh, about one to two million years old, and it used to be one island. Okay. It's fragmented. What happened? It, it's been sinking. So the weight of the volcanoes pushes down into, it pushes the whole structure down into the Earth's crust. So there's a big bulge underneath. Same thing is happening to Hawaii, but because we're so young, less than a million years old, because this big island is so young, it hasn't had time to sink down yet. Mm -hmm. And wow. the volcanoes are still building. So eventually it will. Eventually it will, it will look more like... But we won't be here anymore by then. Well, we won't be <laughs> Wow. Are you a volcanologist yourself? No. No, but I've been I've been studying, studying this a lot because I've been doing the uh, interpretation ranger business here for over six years, and it's a lot of fun. Right. Must so be. I learn a lot, and then I try to pass it yeah. You can pass up for a volcanologist. You know so many things already. No, the volcanologists know a lot more than I. <laughs> um, so here's the Big Island. Right. And I love this map because it, it shows all the features so nicely about how tall the volcanoes are. And this is the oldest volcano on the island. And that's where we are? No. No? We're, we're at the youngest. Oh, wow. We're up here? So so this is this volcano is called Kohala. And it last erupted about 120,000 years ago.